Let's now take a look at systems of linear equations with three variables. Now it should be quite obvious that when we're working with three variables and we're thinking of a graphical representation, we'll have both height and we'll have width and we will have depth. And this means we are working in three dimensional graphics three dimensions. Now in three dimensions we will have um, our linear equation will look something like this. We have three variables equal to zero for example and this will be in the three-dimensional space a surface, a flat surface for example like a piece of paper. Okay a piece of paper or a surface and now that surface might have various positions it might be facing you it might be flat okay but these are different examples of surfaces now what will the solutions look like so if i have more than one equation which means i will have more than one uh, surface uh, say for example that then we'll have a different surface how will these surfaces interact well I think a good way of thinking of it is to look right in front of you consider the wall that's right in front of you okay there's your wall right in front of you and now consider the wall that is on your left or your right there's a wall on your right both of them are flat surfaces and you'll notice that these two flat surfaces meet each other in the corner of the room in a straight line going from the floor all the way up to the roof that means if I have two equations like this one these two up here let's say x plus y plus z equal to zero and x plus 2y plus 4z equal to 7 I'm just making up ones okay then these two will meet in a straight line and on the straight line we will have infinitely many solutions because there's infinitely many points on this line okay what about if we introduce a third surface now consider the roof okay now your roof or let's take the floor oh, that's going to easier to draw if we consider the floor in this room and my pathetic attempt at tiles okay now you notice where do all three of these surfaces meet each other and it should be quite clear in the corner so if we introduce a third surface let's say 3x minus y minus z is equal to 1 there's a third surface it is possible that these three surfaces can intersect in a single point a point that is both on the floor on the left or the right wall and on the wall in front this means we will have a unique solution which means we have a single solution okay are there other options well of course okay consider a book if you take a book and just its front cover and its back cover the front cover and the back cover again is two surfaces that intersect in a straight line let's imagine there's only one page in the book if we think of one page in this book then we have three surfaces the cover the back and the page and all three of these surfaces meet in the binding of the book which means the three surfaces intersect in infinitely many points therefore we will have infinitely many solutions oh, there goes my spelling infinitely many solutions okay is it possible that we can have no solutions well again of course this time just consider the floor in your room 
and the roof. The floor and the roof should be parallel in a normal room, okay? which means that there's no point that is both on the floor and on the roof, unless in a tent, of course. Okay? But the floor and the roof are parallel. And even if we introduce one of the walls, okay, yes, the wall and the roof intersect, and yes, the wall and the floor intersect, but these two intersections never intersect again, which means this will have no solution. There we go. Let's look at an example of solving these algebraically.